Welcome back, Pipers. Hobbiton Piper Kevin here, coming to you from the heartland of America in Missouri. And today we are going to review Boswell Countryside. We have the fire pit lit today. You'll understand why in a minute. We're going to review Countryside. This may be my favorite Boswell blend. Now, many of you are familiar with Northwoods. And you know my scale of light, medium, and dark. Well, you know Northwoods is gonna be more in the darker realm with Boswell Countryside, more in a medium to mild realm. The components are actually very similar, but with Countryside, there's a little more sweetness and it sparks a very specific memory for me. Let's show you this blend real quick. It's a base of Virginia's, has some Orientals in it, some Latakia, and I believe there's some black Cavendish in this as well. I've already loaded my country gentleman with this blend, so let's get it lit. If there's ever a video that you particularly like, if you could hit that like button, I'm being told that the more likes we get on the videos, the more likely we are to appear at the top of searches when Piper search for things. So any video that you particularly liked, if you could like that, that would be great. And of course, I would love it if you would subscribe. Well, you guys were not wrong. I am really enjoying this country gentleman. I love the way it feels in my hand. I love the size of the bowl. I love the way it smokes. What a great, great buy this is. Bang for your buck, this one's gonna be hard to beat. Now, to get Boswell Countryside or any of the Boswell blends, I believe you can only really get them on their website. I think it's boswellpipes.com. You may have to check me on that. But you can get it on their website and you can get it in per ounce prices or you can actually buy a two ounce tin. So it's up to you. You get a little discount if you buy per ounce, uh, but you don't get the collectible tin. So whichever you prefer. My dad, who I miss very much, I lost him last year. He used to take me camping and we would often fish throughout the day. And at the end of the day, we would clean those fish. Um, rainbow trout was my favorite. And we would put some butter and onion and lemons, some lemon pepper seasoning. We'd stuff them with those and we'd wrap them in foil and we would place them on a campfire that we had just built. And I still remember the smell of those campfires at night after fishing all day. Boswell Countryside, and Northwoods too for that matter, takes me to a campfire. The smell of the wood burning and the smoke rising through the air. This blend it's not overly complicated. It just does what it does very, very well. And one of the elements that is added to this blend for me that Northwoods does not have is a sweetness. The way that they have masterfully blended these, you can get different things. While with Boswell Northwoods, you're gonna get a darker smoke. With Countryside, you're gonna get a little milder, sweeter smoke. And what that sweetness reminds me of is at the end of our meal on those camping trips, my dad would help me cut down a couple of fresh green branches, take out his knife, he'd whittle down 
one of the ends of that branch into a spike and he would bring out a big bag of marshmallows, jumbo marshmallows. And we would stick a marshmallow on the end of that stick and we would then roast those marshmallows over the campfire. The smell of that vanilla starting to burn and in my case, inevitably, that marshmallow would catch on fire. <laughs> and I would have to say, oh no, did I do something wrong? And dad would just say, blow it out, son, it'll be fine, blow it out. So I would blow it out. That aroma of the charred marshmallow mixing with the campfire aromas around me. This blend has a toasted marshmallow note for me. that takes me back to those times. If you take North Woods and you take Countryside side by side and you smell both tins, you will notice, I think, I do, a sweetness, almost a vanilla sweetness in the Countryside that you won't find in the North Woods. And that's really the main difference. Countryside, though, is so agreeable throughout the entire day, I could smoke it at any time. I could smoke it with my coffee, I could smoke it in the afternoon after a good lunch, or I could smoke it in the evening with whiskey. Boswell Countryside, it's an all day smoke for me if I choose to do so. This is one of those blends where it doesn't matter if you smoke it aggressively or you sip on it. I think you're going to enjoy it. So I wanted to light the fire pit today just as a reminder for me of those campfires, those times with my dad. And I hope you're able to go and enjoy a camping trip sometime, maybe. If you don't have the things to do it, maybe go with some friends. Um, but it's a fun time. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this review of Boswell Countryside. I recommend trying many of their blends. I think you'd find a lot of them enjoyable. But this one for me is my favorite. I hope to see you next time. <laughs>